Aaron's Aquarium, sponsored by Aquarium Cabinet Solutions, Marine 23, and Corals Direct. How's it going guys and welcome to another update on the 420 gallon reef, or as we fondly know her, as the wife. Now hopefully you enjoyed last week's update where I showed you how I came about, you know, creating this scape and things like that. Um, in today's video, we're going to be sort of like talking about a few new additions that have entered the tank. We're also going to be doing a bit of a rescape. Now, I always say to people, once you've scaped your tank, don't touch it because if you mess about in the tank, you're going to stress your fish out, which are going to cause you issues. You know, you may cause you may cause damage to some of your corals. You may stress your fish out, which might cause them, you know, to outbreak in white spot and things like that. But for me, that area down there just doesn't look good at all. It used to look good, and as you see in last week's video, the scape, you know, was quite sleek. It had a nice flat area, and you know, it looked a lot better than it actually does now. I've, um, when um, I lost a few of the fish a couple of months ago, and I took the rest to Marine 23, um, I had to break that down so I could catch the fish, and it completely ruined it, and I never, you know, built it back up to how it used to look. So in today's video, we're going to rescape that, and then we're going to talk about the new additions to the tank. And uh, you may notice the Idris Ras is out, but the box is still here. Stick around for that one. Shall we begin? This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Is that all you got? Let's begin. So that's the rescape all done and finished and as you can see there's some very subtle changes to how this rock structure looks. Now the major changes for this rock structure are the internal networks. Um, there's loads of different networks inside this rock structure now so fish can go in, come out in various different locations which you know gives them the ability to take up new homes and things like that and give them that space that they need. Now, the rock structure itself, the original idea was to sort of like slope down like that, you know, so that was the original idea to slope down. 
Um, I had the euphilias around here and the nice little slope and things like that. But as you can see, I've got myself a new clamp. Now I wanted to incorporate this clamp into this structure and because um, I wanted them around this area I couldn't have both because if the torches touch the clam or you know something like that they could probably cause damage so what I've ended up having to do is raise back up again so that I can get the euphilias um, up here and out of the way now on the other side of this structure it's completely different again um, so you know so we'll take a look at that in a minute now I have faced a few issues since doing this rescape. Now as I said at the beginning of the video, um, you know, if you're going to mess about with the tank, you can potentially cause aggro in your system and I'm no exception to that rule. Now what, fa what issues I faced is when I've done this rescape, um, because I've put the euphilias down in this section down here, the flow is quite strong, actually very strong. Um, I was running the gyra on 70%. Now that is far too much for my system, far too much. And the, f the backflow across here was so strong that the, the, the euphilias just did not like it at all, which meant I've actually lost a couple of head of torch, which, you know, not happy about, but, you know, there's nothing really much I can do about it now. Live and learn. So what I've done is I've actually dialed back the gyra. The gyra is now at a maximum of 40%. Um, it varies throughout the day, its speed and how it moves, but when it's at its actual peak of speed, that is 40% and no more. I've even dialed back my actual return pump because my return pump is a 12,000 per hour uh, j ball return pump. And I've actually was running that nearly full tilt, but because I was running you know reactors and things like that off it I'm no longer doing that so I've had to dial it back to 50% power so yeah so that's uh, that's an issue that I've faced but now that everything's you know all sorted and the euphilias are up out of the way and everything seems to look okay um, the the clams are reacting fine and everything seems unky -dory. Now, um, we'll go over to the other side of the tank and I'll show you how that side escaped and I'll let you know a few more of the issues that I've faced. So guys, this is the rock structure from the other side and as you can see, you know, it's completely different. Again, we've got some nice flat areas for acans and, you know, the new scully and the, uh, the candy canes for them to sit, you know, when the candy canes really grow and they cover all that rock right up to that ridge there and, you know, maybe even start to grow down, they will just look absolutely stunning. You know, the scully just really adds a, you know, a lovely burst of colour to this section. And the acan garden is just beautiful. You know, we've got rainbow acans in there. You know, all sorts of different types of acans. I don't know the names, but, you know, they look really, really nice. I've just picked these two, that one there and that one. I've just picked them up from uh, Oasis Aquarium. And, you know, they look really, really nice. Um, you know, the rock structure itself, you know, I really like the way it is now. It's not, you know, massively different to the first one, but just the, the way that the, the rock structure is, you know, the open areas in it, the, you know, the ability for the flow to just pass through it very easily, you know, it really makes the tank, you know, just, just flow a lot better. Now, um, you know, the, the, the tank is starting to look really good now. It's starting to look like an actual tank. Now, if you just look there, we do have a new addition just in the cave over there. That is a Barry N tank. Now, I introduced that little guy in the box and he was in the box for around about a week so I could introduce him to this tank. Now, the introduction went really well. You know, he came into the tank and Jeff, you know, because he'd gotten used to him in the box, he'd just accepted him, you know, and, uh, you know, and that was that. So. He was sort of like a bit of a trial to see whether I could have other tanks in this tank with Jeff. Now, uh, you know, like, he has his moments, you know, he has his moments where, you know, he's completely fine with all of the fish in the tank, and then he has his moments where he just doesn't like any of the fish in the tank, whether it's a tang or a ras or anything. He just has those little flip moments. And, uh, you know, that, that Barry N tank down there, you know, it's one of those where... He'll be allowed out for a long period of time and then he'll just get chased back into the cave. So I'm thinking that this little guy down here may not be 
somebody that will be staying in this system. You know, he's been in here a week, and he's doing okay, but, you know, it might be something that he may have to move on because he's not got a really good, you know, life in here because he doesn't get to spend a lot of time out in the open because it just depends on what mood Jeff's in. So we'll see how he goes. But yeah, um, I'm happy with everything overall. Uh, one of the issues that we've faced with this new Rescape is we have had a, a bit of a white spot outbreak. Not so much that it's caused any, you know, any fatalities or anything like that. But as you can see from Jeff, you know, he's being a bit daft, swimming around the rocks, um, you know, um, visiting the cleaner shrimp, you know, quite often and, you know, rubbing himself. So, you know, he's not got, you know, any visual signs, you know, any bumps to his skin or anything like that, but he is clearly irritated. Something else that I've noticed as well, see if he's doing it. He's fighting his reflection. Watch. He's, <laughs> he's fighting his reflection in the glass because I've just cleaned this glass and he's tail slapping himself in the reflection. You know, he's really... So he's, he's, he's quite irritated at the moment, which also isn't helping, you know, for the white spot. So uh, I might end up having to catch Jeff and put him in the sump and give him a bit of a time out just to, you know, to let the tank recover. But, you know, we'll see how we go on that. So anyway, the tank itself, still loving it, still looking good. It's getting better and better every week. You know, it's really taking shape, um, starting to look like a bit of a reef now. This Idris Ras is just absolutely stunning you know just look at its coloration its shape it's so nice it's really really nice so i'm really chuffed with that one so yeah um we'll leave the uh the reef update there we'll get something else out for you for next week if you've got any questions about this video as always stick them in the comment section below but for now i'll catch you all later